Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the Super Informative Podcast. I'm joined here by Connor. Hello. Joe. Good morning. And Akshay. Hi. And our very special guest, Mr. Bob Lamb. Woo! Welcome, Mr. Bob Lamb. Just me, Bob Lamb. Just me, Bob Lamb. Let's start it with that. French. <laughs> um, he's indeed a French man, actually. He's a, he's a very sexy man. Hey, well, we all know yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob Lamb is here because our topic this week is technology. Again, that's a pretty broad topic like we started the last one, but obviously we'll narrow it down a little. So Bob's a bit of a... He's a nerd. Basically. He's a nerd. He's a tech enthusiast. He's a friggin' nerd. He's a tech enthusiast. Tech enthusiast. I like that, Thank but you. I like nerd more. Okay, cool. Mm. <laughs> he's, he's a neat. Uh, so Joe, do you want to run us through what we're going to talk about today, or, or Bob, do you want to do you want to say anything? Um, so so okay, let's let's try and do what we do every week, where we'll we'll sort of say how interested we are in the subject and how we sort of relate, sort of similar to what we did last week okay. with um, arts. So Ryan, Samsung user, absolutely. Ah, oh, you got to mention friggin', it, don't you? Friggin' loser. <laughs> um, <laughs> Go on. Connor's got a Samsung too. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, okay, so what's your what's what what do you use technology most for? Probably I, your, you've built a PC. I I'm I'm quite well adversed in some technologies. PCs mm. I'm pretty good with them, but I'm not sort of up to date with new softwares or mm. new parts for PCs or anything. Mm-hmm. I just know mm. what everything is and what it does. Okay. Okay. What it do? What it do? What it do? Uh, Connor, have, uh, not, have not built your PC, but I think you've probably got the most tech in your house out of all the people oh, I know. Um, unless it's rivaled by Bob, but I, I guess the thi- I do have a lot of tech, and I think I use it a lot. Mm-hmm. But in terms of like the technical aspects of it, I, I barely know anything about it. Like, mm. like I can look at like. So sort of like a PC and what it's got in it, I'm like, yo, that's kind of strong. Like mm. that's a, that's a good PC. It's pretty good. But then I can't I can't tell you like the specifics about it. Yeah. I just it's sort of just like I know that's mm-hmm. a good. PC. But you, but you've got so you've got what you so when I, when we were in year eight maybe you got an Alienware, which are some yeah. of the best p- gaming PCs in the world. And then recently your dad got the largest Alienware I think I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> yeah, it's because oh, that no. thing is literally a meter tall. It's a beast. Yeah. it's insane. Wow. It's because yeah. I could fit inside the case. It's I'm, insane. I think that's the thing. The reason I have so much, the reason I have such so much like really good technology in my house is just because it's because I think it's because my my dad is mm. he's like really into that. Like mm. not into the like specifics of it, but he likes like every once in a while he'll like say like okay I want to buy this cool thing, and so like he'll go and buy this huge TV and then won't buy anything for like a year. Mm. And then he comes back with his massive like computer. Mm. So that's why, that's why I have so much tech just cause mm. he, it's cause he himself has a personal interest. So in you've it. got, so, so you've got an, uh, an Alienware, your own personal one. Yes. You've got an Xbox. Yes. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then you've got a PlayStation. You don't have a PlayStation, do you? No, I have I a PlayStation two, but okay. that is not, that is not used. Okay. And then you've got, obviously got stuff for school. So you've got a laptop, a phone. Yeah. The usual. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, myself, I have a iPhone. I've only just recently bought my first new iPhone eight. Ooh, wow! The first new phone that I've ever had. Thank you very much. Uh, they've all been hand me downs or second hand up to this point. Very and nice. I bought this probably about six months ago. Uh, other than that, I've got Apple laptop, and both my parents have an iPad, and that's about it. We don't. I've never had a, a console. Never had a 3DS because my parents i should be a loser for the rest of my life so <laughs> but you are yeah. thank you thank you appreciate that guys and for you mr lamb um i think my origin story would be just starting with the the the, the, the ds mm-hmm. um i i had barely enough tech when i was a kid i had no laptops i didn't come to school i didn't go to school with a phone mm. uh it was all like because my dad would come at like Three ten, and he just picked me up straight. Mm, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I it was there was there was no use for a phone or a laptop mm-hmm. or any gaming because mm-hmm. he 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 knew how addicting it was. Yeah, yeah. He didn't want us to, to exactly. do the same. Yeah. Um, so I had no tech until I came here, mm. and then then things started to get like oh my dad let me out and he, he just oh you you want to get this like we're gonna just. 
be sure mm. you know how to use your money well, which is another topic. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I've been really invested in tech ever since. It's just like, it's the same thing with Connor's dad. It's like, mm. I see something really cool and I just kind of want to get it or yeah. I get invested in every single day. I'm just like, I'm thinking about that specific yeah, yeah. thing. It's like a, it's like mm. a girl. It's, it's exactly it's like an a girl. iPad. It, <laughs> yes, it's an iPad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I get, I get updates for myself because there's just like, um, I think there's just some specific loyalty to certain brands. Mm -hmm. Um, especially in tech, especially with Apple. Yeah, especially with Apple. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think there's like you know that constant debate between Samsung and Apple. It's for me there is no there's no debate because I feel like there's just so many good things with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Samsung does a lot of things in a wide variety, whereas yeah. Apple does it in like full send. Yeah, we'll get we'll get yeah. into that. We'll get into yeah, that yeah, in a bit. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I do just want to touch on your. At the why no I know but um I said we'll come to you in a sec I just want it because you not usually on the podcast I just want to say why specifically we brought you on so you want to be an Apple developer when you're older um not specifically an Apple developer I think that I want to live in a I want to be in a comfortable environment and I realize that there's not a lot of good tech environments because you're always constantly doing the same it's it's like a nine to five job and then you're just constantly facing mm. just mm. like mm. coding or whatever you, you, you you're doing um and i want to work at google because google has mm. a very nice and yeah, comfortable yeah, yeah. environment mm. um, yeah yeah i've been to google london offices and they're just insane my I, mom took me there when she had a meeting and i was just like bro it looks like Hogwarts they, they, or something. Yeah, they go around on scooters and things. Though. Yeah. 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 Wait, wait, have you seen the app, the new Apple Dome somewhere in America? Oh, like they created like a Silicon big, Valley. the big f like facility, and it looks like a f it's as big as a football stadium. Oh yeah. Oh, it's man. so it's like a, a, a theme park. I've sale. seen the Amazon so ones. It's like it's almost like anywhere where they're doing like innovative work, it's gonna be like there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's less. It's less like a like a nine to five job, like Bob mm -hmm. says, and it's more like. You have freedom to be creative and yeah. stuff. It's like you live in a. Dy I feel like like those areas. It's like you live in a dystopian world, sort of like it's a. Is it a utopian? Uh, I, I would utopian. say utopian. Like, I, I mean, utopian. It's, just it's no. It's just something. Utopia is a good place. Dystopia is a bad place. Yeah, oh. I'd say that. Okay, no, just like a utopia. It's just yeah. a utopia. Yeah, yeah. It's just like so secluded. It was. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, actually, what what, what experience do you have with technology? Like, what's your background? Like, I'm more retro tech. My dad really into like like really into tech so the first thing i first tech i touched was probably the game boy advanced of my like my dad's game boy and mm -hmm. then i started getting into psp some nintendo and mm -hmm. then my dad got me a nintendo 3ds which was like the best mm. like it like <laughs> that was so cool it freaked me out like i think it freaked I me out yeah, because I it was like yeah. 3d but it was really sick but then the first mobile I got was when I was in I think year six and I had a Nokia brick yeah. Like yeah, 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 yeah my mom didn't trust me with any touch yeah, screen phone yeah. started off with that <laughs> went into a Samsung a crappy Samsung I don't know what type of Samsung no. but then like three four years later I got a iPhone 7 plus and now I have an iPhone 11 Hell yeah. mm. so I don't know anything about hardware at all I just know what a terabyte is and I also know that's it. No, that's what is it. a terabyte then? What is a terabyte? It's storage. So it's the amount of storage that. But it's how much is how storage. much storage? Ten thousand. Ten thousand what? Ten thousand what? Gigabytes. No. Bytes. No. Bytes. 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 <laughs> okay, so that I do want to touch on that slightly, which can bring us on to our first topic of sort of is take is technology becoming too uh, prevalent in our lives? Is it? what's the difference between our old times and blah 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 and a good anecdote i think for me was when um i mm, i don't know how old we were but young and i remember because it was when we were in primary and i remember being in clearwater bay so i was uh in year four and i remember having my nokia oh no i didn't even have a nokia at that point and i remember i think it was when the six plus came out when was that 2000 
he uh this is why old lamb is here <laughs> yeah no so that that was it must have been ages ago oh it must have been the one of the first few iphones it must have been, probably i can't yes, remember I can't remember what it was. Oh no, it was the iPod. I remember what it was. Okay, so I remember oh. not having a phone or like having like a really dodgy phone. I wasn't even then because I wasn't yeah. twelve. I remember getting my first phone at twelve, and um, and I remember looking at this like year one, walking around with like an iPod, an iPod Touch or something like that, and I'm like, I, like, what the hell is going on? This is ridiculous. Mm. Um, the fact that I like what what is a five year old gonna do? With an iPod Touch, or like what, like what's the yeah. purpose? I like when I was younger, I would run around in my bloody Crocs. Do you know what I mean? For sure. Whereas like that, they wouldn't have experienced that because they would have been on their phone the whole time. Mm. So, like, that's becoming more and more. And so on the bus, you guys can make comments on this. A, a mm. lot, a lot of the times on the bus, we'll see kids year five. Mm, maybe younger just on their phones the whole time and it's becoming almost like a dummy where it's like the parent or the helper will just give the kid a phone and then shut them up exactly i see that all the, mm, in the time yeah uh, in the restaurant all the time where it's just like a uh so the parents can talk have a drink while the kid just watches the phone aimlessly and eats their pizza i think mm. i think like us three or us three that i know about have really we've sort of gr we've sort of figured that out and on the bus, we always try and make conversation. Yeah. Or if I'm on the bus alone, I'll sit there and listen to music and just look out the window because yeah, yeah. that is what it is. Like it is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> the phone. Well, it depends. So, so this morning, me and Connor were on the bus and we were both listening to music and we we'd have conversation, but we both we both had headphones in. Mm. So in the morning, it's different because we're both tired. It's a good sort of otherwise because yeah. I, I reckon if I, if we didn't have headphones, we still wouldn't have talked. Probably not. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you guys have any? I um. Do you reckon, do you reckon kids are becoming too? Oh, that's for sure. I was gonna make the same comment. Yesterday I was leaving the school, and then there was just like primary kids leaving, and okay, the the helper obviously takes the bag, right? Mm. That's like become the norm, which is I don't agree with. Mm. But the, the the kid just has their iPhone 11 Pro Max. Yeah. <laughs> Max, like yeah, oh, yeah. I don't even have a Max. I don't exactly, even have, like, and they're like, wait, it's like bigger than their face. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> it's it's just like, why? Yeah, I don't. I, they have no purpose in having such, you know, technology. Like, technology. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I, it's not saying that they don't deserve it. I think that it's just. I grew up with. I didn't. I actually didn't even start with an iPhone. I grew up with like this scrolling wheel phone. Oh, so did I. Blackberry. Blackberry. It was yeah. not a Blackberry. Mm. It was some like non-branded phone that <laughs> I just picked up from yeah. uh, like I don't know from like <laughs> from the floor no. <laughs> from like um, the nurse's office mm. because I oh, thought God. it was kind of cool. Hell yeah. They were just like, "Is it yours? I don't care if it is. Yeah, just yeah, take yeah. it because yeah. we don't want to <laughs> keep stuff in the lost and found." Mm. Um, no SIM card, whatever. I took it home. My mom was like, "Oh." A phone, <laughs> Did, and then um, it I, it just became something that I used, like as a dummy. It was literally mm. I, it, the screen Snake. was yeah. It, it it was just a brick. Honestly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was just I remember it was like a the really old Apple mouses. You know, there was like a, a yeah, ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was so cool. Man. That wasn't the home button. That was the home button to navigate for your apps and stuff. No touch screen away. Oh, okay, yeah, mm. yeah. And yeah. then became um, a Samsung. Like it was like a burner phone, mm. and then the iPhone four, which was. Uh, that I was remember like, that. Yeah, yeah, that was like I used that for like around three years. And mm. then yeah, that was that was during the time when I started getting. You know, knowledge in tech because oh, I have also had another story. Um. I I I'm, I like in terms of, also like the reason why I love tech is because. Iron Man is like. The coolest <laughs> actor in the entire world. <laughs> the wow. first movie shocked me. I almost yeah. peed in the, in the, in the, in the, in the theater. I was like, yo, god damn. <laughs> god damn. Like, is this even possible? And Mommy, I, I want to be like him when I'm older. You know, well, honestly, I, I do as well. <laughs> I, do. I went home on my mom's iMac and I searched Iron Man armors and 
Like back then it was I like I still do that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> God damn that Hulk buster though. <laughs> it's like it, it's just it's so cool. And I remember going to the shop and there was this Iron Man USB because Iron Man three came out. Mm. And my dad was like, "Oh, you want to get it?" And, yeah. like, and my my brother got the the War Machine USB, which is just the head, right? And then mm-hmm. it was the eyes would glow if you like like put it into the the USB cable thing, mm-hmm. uh, the, the the USB port. Um, and I thought it was pretty cool, yeah. and you could store things. That was the first piece of tech that I brought everywhere with me. Oh yeah. And then, um, I think that it's just how I came to be. It's just like USB, the, the literally the smallest thing in the world. It's it's mm. smaller than a penny. Mm. And I w- I grew up with that. Yeah. And I feel like they like kids now they don't do you appreciate. Think, do you think that's mm, positive or detrimental? So do you think? The, if you had grown up with this for everyone um, if you had grown up with you know iPhone 11 Max because surely that's the they become like kids will become less observant of their environment yeah. they'll, they'll, they'll I okay so I notice it myself I'll go from my bedroom to the bathroom, and I will continue watching whatever's on my phone. Mm-hmm. And my mm-hmm. parents hate it. Or I'll continue texting someone as I'm walking. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I find that, and I'm 17, having not got that background, and that's just like a learnt behaviour where I mm-hmm. can't put my phone down to... Well, it's not that I can't, it's just I don't feel the need to put my phone down to go to the right. toilet. Right. Whereas these kids nowadays, I'll put, when I'm walking through the street, I'll put my phone down. But these kids nowadays have learnt mm-hmm. That when you when you get up off the bus, you continue watching the thing yes. on your phone. Yeah. That's dangerous, yeah. surely. Yeah. How long is that gonna last? Like, it, surely that's a bad thing. Things well, gonna evolve. Things gonna get worse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's because I think I had this. I had sort of a conversation with Bob about this yesterday in class about how I think the thing with the advancements in technology is it's oh, yeah. it it's fundamentally changing like like society as a yeah, whole. Yeah. It's because what we were talking about is how. Because if you sort of, I guess, if you look at sort of our, our sort of grandparents and then our parents' generations, mm. well, obviously there are some differences. It's not, it, there's, still, there's still similarities and there's sort of agreements. Whereas mm-hmm. what, this sort of divide between the current generation and mm-hmm. those generations is so, it's so stark. And it's, yeah. but, and uh, well, what we were talking about is that it's, it's basically because of, the, how quickly technology has advanced since like the 2000 like yeah. to, if you yeah. look at sort of 1960 to like 1980 well there was obviously probably a big technological leap but if you compare that from 2000 to 2020 it's like yeah so completely they, they've said yeah. that the the um t- 2000 between 2000 and 2020 it will be like known for like the age of technology and like the age of technological development because it was so mm. immediate and so quick yeah. because like we went from when we were younger not having um touch screen mm. to fucking Tesla. space scanners Tesla's are you kidding exactly yeah. Yeah. self-driving that's, that's cars so crazy. that's some back to the future shit like yeah. are you kidding like it was a, it's because i remember about in like 2011 i remember i no not 2011 maybe like 2013 i got like my parents like hand me down iphone 3 yeah and i like looked at that and i was just it's because before that i had something similar to bob i just had like a roly wheel (laughs) and like that was it and what i do like when i was bored is i just press buttons even though like they didn't do anything. same same, yeah yeah, i did that with my nokia i didn't even turn around just press the button because of the rubber like thing and it was yeah yeah. you know what's worse i had a i had a similar phone the the burner phone was in chinese and I didn't know how to read Chinese back then. <laughs> the only thing I knew was to press one and call. And that was it. That was my dad's phone number. And then, so in my free time, I would just be pressing on the numbers and just clicking every single thing, like you said. And I would mm. just do the same thing all <laughs> and over again. So there was no point in like yeah, doing yeah. all that. Yeah, but like, it's sort of, I sort of, when I got that iPhone 3, like I looked at it and I was like, this is like, like this is like the future. Like mm. I have, I, yeah, have wit- yeah. I have witnessed greatness. Like I put my finger on it and it moves. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And insane. then, and then, like you get to things like Flappy Bird. Oh my like, days. What, what's the other? What's Flappy the Bird was oh, snake? Fruit Ninja. The snake one. The snake Fruit one. Ninja. Oh, Fruit, Flappy Bird was one of the later. Revolution. 
Tap Tap Revolution. Excuse what? me. That was on the. That yeah, was on no, the I know. Screen, know that. No, but there was one thing. Um, Angry Birds. Angry Birds. Yeah, yeah. that, that mm. ruined my life yeah. for a few years. Yeah, but it's just sort of it's that that was only like seven years ago, and now today. Like the idea of seeing a phone that wasn't touch screen is like yeah, it's mental. It's like, like you think it's like ancient. Yeah, I went into the yeah. sorry. I, I remember going into the phone shop and seeing that they still sold bricks, like they sold Nokia <laughs> yeah. bricks, but now they were in like new colors, and I went whoa, <laughs> <laughs> and like I was like first off whoa, they still sell them, and B they're actually still like innovating on them. Like <laughs> they're clearly coming out with new models of bricks where they're like. They're like, like an orange one, like <laughs> wow, the orange <laughs> brick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've had a, I had a similar epiphany with Connor about like sort of like technology in general. I had that when sort of Beats, uh, mostly Beats came out with wireless earphones, mm. and mm. that was like whoa, magic. That was magic as well, and like especially with the wireless earbuds, I was like, holy crap, like what the hell? Yeah. Happened? Like, that's when I had that epiphany about, like, how technology has changed drastically. Because before, I don't think I recognized it as much. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. so naive to the world. Like, yeah. I would, wouldn't be able to recognize it. But clearly now, things have changed drastically. And also, like, there's, like, a point I want to make about how sort of... Um, wait, brain fart. Uh, Take your time. I will come back to it. Yeah. yeah. So, it, so that reminds me that uh, you're talking about those Bluetooth headphones. Yeah. I remember my, I remember really wanting a pair and being like, yeah, but they're good for sports, mom. And my mom, my mom <laughs> was you're American. My mom, uh, yeah. <laughs> and when I was, when I was younger, I was American. Um, my mom wouldn't let me get them because she was like, they're gonna ruin your he head with the same waves, with the awesome. radio waves. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, I'm like, come on. And then she goes and gets her own bloody pair of AirPods. I was like, are you kidding me? They're even worse than the ones that I wanted. <laughs> what? Like, she was like, oh yeah, but then I'm, I don't trust the, the telecommunication waves going through your brain. I was like, what? <laughs> it's been proven that it doesn't do anything. Like, I, think, I think the older generation is a lot more skeptical than Absolutely. the kids who have obviously been brought up with it. Like my mom still... Mm turns her phone on airplane mode when she sleeps because she thinks that it's gonna radiate your brain. <gasps> oh. And like, sure, if you want to believe that, go ahead. I'm just That doesn't not change do anything, it. though. It's not like if you turn on airplane mode, it'll shut off all <laughs> of the radiation. Yeah. Yeah. It's like force field. <laughs> <laughs> no. But also, that's, that's interesting, is there's always radio waves going through you right now, right. all the time. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, yeah. Yeah. Uh, mobile cell data it's crazy and and like it's been proven obviously yeah. 5g does cause and, yeah, yeah. Obviously. 5G <laughs> coronavirus yeah, yeah yeah right should we move on to the next point or have um, you got that no, I you forgot it's all good. i think i think one of the biggest innovations in technology that we've seen in the past however many years is the innovation of ai mm. Mm. and that's probably one of the scariest ones because whilst it can be used like completely for good and it can help us advance as a society or as a race, mm -hmm. um, it's also got so many dangers that come with it. Yeah. So let's let's talk about that. So it's, no, go on. okay, it's because I remember I remember reading. I think it was a couple months ago. Google was it Google that made that what it, what's it called Sarah? Like yeah. the like it's like it's this sort of face. It's this. It's this yeah. robot woman oh, yeah. that can speak to you. Yeah. Oh, that was two years ago, though, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Was it? What? What? Wasn't recently. Is it like yeah. the Halo one? Is it like, is it like no, a so her? It, no, Cortana? it's, a, it's, a, it's a, like a silicon head with like yeah. the, the back where it's like all the... Oh, yeah. that. That's and that's you can that's have a conversation with them. And I think at one no. point she said she was going to destroy the human yes, it's because what? Yes, it's because she was put in a museum and obviously people could talk to her and she would learn. Yeah. And people obviously said like, like sort yeah. of like... What, what you they, will destroy the human yeah. rights. Robots will destroy the human rights. And but the other thing, I don't, I don't know if it was that robot particularly, but they Google made these two AIs to to communicate with each other, and obviously they have this sort of set language that they communicate in in English. But what happened was they create, they ended up creating their own language that so that the, they wouldn't understand. No, but it wasn't that wasn't what they were thinking. Is that it was just more efficient for them? But it's that they made that logical thing of. English is not the fastest way to speak. We are going to make this new language. Surely they can just text each other. Wow. Well, <laughs> wow. That's a good. That's a good um, point. Is that 
that takes out all culture and mm. that I reckon that's why you draw the line at humanity where yes if English is the, probably one of the least efficient languages to speak <laughs> but we still use it do you know what I mean yeah. Yeah. yeah is that because we've been taught it is that because we are able to express ourselves a little bit more or what well it's just it's I guess a lot I'd say a lot of it has to do with again the thing that differentiates us from I guess AI and robots is sort of it's humanity there's this there's the sort of I think for a certain extent it's people not wanting to, not wanting change mm. not wanting to learn a new language and yeah. obviously there are so many languages in the world while I'd say English and Chinese and Spanish are the most prevalent mm. it's just I guess and also I think it's a cultural thing yeah. in that if you told every like theoretically if you told everyone in England okay we're not going to speak English no more you're we're going to teach you the, yeah tell you to piss off. yeah because Chinese is more efficient or something it even if it was e way easier to learn and way more efficient to speak people would just outright reject it because I think it's that sort of I guess to an extent it might be a, a bit of identity mm -hmm. in terms of it's sort of what I've always known yeah but then I guess I guess that then draws brings up the question would robots be able to appreciate beauty and culture and I think, mm. I think so. what would they think of poetry do they think what like mm. art I think what? they would because because as you said about like the Google AI in the yeah. museum, how it learns, it will learn how yeah. to potentially appreciate. It may not be as significant. It may not be as. Um, it may not be. Actually, it could be. Mm. So it'll it'll learn, but it, it so. In the human brain, you've got neurons yeah. and you've got uh, hormones, right? So if you mm. look at a beautiful uh, scene, it will release serotonin yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah, serotonin. The the feel good hormone. Yeah. But in your head, all your all, all the um, synapses are just from your eyes to your brain, and that's about it, right? Yeah. That's the the AI is just the synapses in your brain. There is no serotonin. There's no melatonin. There's no right, right. repressive mm. hormones. There's no. Do you know what I mean? Standpoint. So exactly, mm. it's purely just. They might be able to learn this color makes is is good. That you know this color is. Uh, not as good. This color for a human would make them happy or sad, or and then they would learn that way. But they wouldn't have that immediate kind of thing. Where yeah, I just keep mm. thinking about like Age of Ultron, Avengers. And yeah, like Ultron mm. takes over. So. Well, what but, I what I was thinking about was have any of you guys ever seen the video game Detroit become yeah, human? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, for people that don't know, it's basically about it's sort of in the near future where these sort of sentient robots that look exactly like humans called androids come about and basically it's essentially about androids being discriminated in the same way that sort of racism exists today but towards androids yeah. Yeah. and i think just when i played it it just it was such an interesting idea to me because it's yeah. that it's because it if if it ever gets which it, it most likely will get to the point where there are truly sentient robots that would most definitely be a thing of yeah. thinking of them as lesser. Yeah, but then, uh, well, we just we yeah, just, and then are they? But then it becomes the question of are they because we, they are not, genuinely not human. Mm. But then at, at what point are they? After a while, they'll eventually learn to be, be more human. human. Mm. And I think people will definitely start off thinking of them as objects because that's they what are. that's what they were made for. They're, yeah, they, they were. It's because. Technology as a whole is made to improve our lives and our sort of just our well-being. But at some point, we'll have we'll turn a corner where they will become more human than mm. AI, yeah. Yeah. And yes. than than object. But and then it then it becomes a problem of us competing with them. Yeah, but then it, it also mm. brings up the fact that will we be able to control that at all? We won't. We won't. Because if if you have an an AI per se, and it spends. 20, 30 years working for somebody or being owned by somebody and doing what they want. As you go along, if it's a self-learning robot, it's going to pick stuff up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And over time, it's going to be like... It's going to realize that's bad. Yeah, at yeah. some point, it's going to learn to At find some point, it's going to be like, no, maybe I won't do that. Yeah. And that's when everyone... And that we're going to have to rethink about integrating them into society. Exactly. And yeah, I think that's the thing of robots taking over the world because... Theoretically, if that was to happen and robots were to become sentient and there was that divide, robots would undoubtedly kill us all. 
Yes. If the ro- if if a, if a, if sentient if a, if there was a single sentient robot in the world that was like completely capable of just everything and thoughts like a human being and thinking for itself, it could most definitely kill us all. Because the thing mm. is, is that with with a robot, it's that there's not that there's the sort of you you know how humans suffer from things like writer's block and things. Mm, yeah. It's just we have those sort of boundaries sort mm, of in our head that slow that. slow us down like. Mm. A, a robot would be able to sort of infinitely improve itself. I, yeah, but then I don't think it would be able to destroy the entire human race. Like, well, okay, maybe not well, one. If, no, if it, it was, if it was Ultron level, maybe. For those of you who don't know, Ultron can almost like, as soon as he was made, he's like a robot AI, and he just absorbed everything on the internet. No, he was an AI first, and then he... Yeah, he was an AI, and then he Jones. got integrated into he, a robot. He is, it's his he, purest form is artificial intelligence. He just became, oh, he just absorbed the entire internet, which would be insane. So he knows every language, he knows everything yeah. that's ever happened and stuff, but the main reason that he would potentially be able to beat us is because he can... Us, as in the five of us. <laughs> <laughs> we are the event. I'm built, I'm built he, different, though. He can... He can move his conscience between places, so right. he's not restricted to one body. Whilst mm. as a human, you cut, you, you cut mean so he would be able to go into this iPad. And yeah, he'd be able to try. I think the problem that... with Ultron is, is he this mis- is now an Avengers. Podcast. No, no, this hundred percent is he misinterpreted because he is built from yep. Tony Stark. Misinterpreted a lot of what Tony Stark. But if you think about that. He he, maybe he misinterpreted what Tony Stark th- uh, said, but he took the internet, which would say sh- show him every bad thing we've ever done, yes. and uh, so he wouldn't be capable of emotions yet, so he wouldn't be able to understand the bad parts or the good so parts. So he would just say, he just say, "Here's what people do." Yeah, I, yeah. I think that's the general fear of AI. It's that it's that lack of morality, the idea that they lack emotions, and that sort of when we see something like, let's say, you see like. A puppy dying you are going to feel like sadness or like f- you'll feel some form of sympathy towards yeah. it but it's the idea that because a robot is a machine and how we have always seen machines as they're made of metal they're made of just materials they're not capable of thought they're just things to help us they just it's it's it would be like algorithmic to them i think i think it could, it could have emotions honestly. No, they could that's have, cap- that, and that is captured when vision was created, mm. but obviously, no, 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 obviously no, no, no. they would do that over time. They wouldn't because you can't program emotions yeah, into something. No, no, but that, that's the thing is that if if we create a self learning robot and it learns to have emotions, is it really real? Because it's sort of again, it's that be that argument that yeah, it's it's, it's taught in terms of. It's code. It doesn't have emotions. Yeah. It's just its algorithm teaches it to learn, and then within that algorithm, it decides to learn emotions. It just goes through its database and says, "Okay, this makes this causes this, this mm. causes this. Which one's the best for this situation?" But okay, so but the 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 whole idea of what you guys are talking about are absolutely positively limited by our own invention. Ultron mm. would need. I mean, okay, Ultron, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. But Joe, quadrillion terabytes of information of. of right. But Joe, we've just we've just talked about how Google made a robot that can self-learn and talk about it. So it's not that far off. Whilst it sounds outlandish. No, I know, I know. Truly... But that's what I'm saying is yes, we know that it can happen, but until. Um, it's like self-driving cars. Yeah. So we know how to do it. We just need. Excellent. We need so it's the same as it's the same as why electric cars aren't as good as a traditional gas why, car why electric, because because the battery's not good enough. Why electric cars aren't legally allowed to drive on the road on their own? Mm. Exactly. So mm. because because well mm, not really. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the hardware isn't there. So you, this Sarah I, AI yeah. is that what we called her? She can learn. She would potentially be able to learn like Ultron, the entire internet, know exactly what happened throughout all history, know exactly, probably be able to predict all of the future. Yeah. But it's absolutely positively limited by the RAM, the memory, oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, mm. the thermal... We, we can set its boundaries. Uh, conduction. But I think mm. the problem is there are people in the world who don't want to set boundaries. They want to break the boundaries, whilst, but they don't think about 
the potential consequences. Mm, so I think probably what we need is like a governmental organ or like a UN division or something that oversees the advances in AIs or technology in general. Because they've yes. already sort of implied uh, uh, applied that to like electric cars, mm -hmm. as you can't legally drive a Tesla mm -hmm. on your own, like n with the car driving itself. Mm -hmm. mm. Go on. It's actually been legalized not a not a long time ago. It's, Where it's some states. Okay. Oh, so um, you mean so you mean you as in the car can drive itself, but you like you can take your hands off the wheel if there's that function, but you can't be out of the car. Or you can't be I, no, like, in the passion. You seat. can't you can't like not be able to drive. Like you can't get a car to drive oh, you home you when you're to, drunk, yeah, yeah. or you can't have a sleep whilst yeah. it drives somewhere. Mm, yeah, okay, that's that's fair enough. Yeah, because technology can always fail. And I w we were saying that I was telling you that the other day was you sent me a video of um, mountaineering. A mountaineering, like they used mm. VR and mountaineering, where they labeled the heights, labeled the dangers, mm. labeled other mountains in, in the distance, and like with my experience of being in the mountains which is more than you guys but not hmm. by any means actually that significant you learn pretty damn quick that you nothing is reliable nothing is 100 percent reliable yeah. you you put on a rain jacket it rains you will get wet there is no right. you can prevent it but you have to know what to do otherwise and that's perfectly applicable to what you're saying mm -hmm. is you as a human have to have the knowledge and the skills and the yeah the knowledge and the skills to be able to do that but it, you can be then aided by that but i think that's like probably one of the big things that comes out with the ai is the severity of how it can affect our lives mm. so we're talking about self-learning robots mm -hmm. which would obviously affect our lives a lot mm -hmm. but then there's there's ai like a chess ai that's beaten the best chess player in the entire world mm. Mm. that that whilst that does affect our lives a little it it doesn't have a massive impact but if you compare that to like cleaning robots or something yeah no so that's that's different where where um chess is just it's just a hobby it no it's just an algorithm it's just it the, 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 yeah. the computer will yeah. be able to predict every move that, that, that yeah. the player can make and then be able to know how to counter so it that's immediately. That's, that's an AI that was made and it's it's chill. Like It's not going to drastically change our lives. But if you look at a cleaning robot or, or well, yeah, we'll go with a cleaning robot. It's a one-time investment for a company that just takes jobs away from humans. You see how that works? Yeah. Well, so I guess there's, there's different levels of severity of tech of innovative technology. Oh, you're talking about that video of the cleaner who saw the cleaning yeah, robot. Yeah, that's where <laughs> I got it from. really sad. Yeah, but of yeah, course no, he was. Okay, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, His yeah, livelihood's yeah, yeah. been taken away by a robot, which... I think, sadly, that it's definitely where the world is looking. And yeah. m m one of the things that we could do... Do we want to talk about what we could do to help that, or...? Uh, <laughs> well, not a lot. Yeah. Well... We'd have to we'd have to get like a increase in education. Yeah, we'd have so to bring yeah, well, exactly. all, every single human to a different standard. Well, so exactly. Like, so, yeah. So the the point. So I was just thinking that actually. So if we give robots jobs, it would be low paying, yeah. menial tasks <laughs> like construction, yeah. cleaning. But we don't actually pay them. Exactly, <laughs> but we don't actually pay them. That's that's why they. That's why <laughs> there is. Machine. <laughs> that's why there is that that investment of. Mm. Um, it just stops when you don't pay it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the but the the there is that. Well, you'd probably pay a company to get the cleaning robot. Yeah, but yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's it, a, one a one time. time investment yeah, and exactly. then maintenance on the machine. But mm. that's probably not how it will go. But whatever. Well, that's business. Mm -hmm. Continue. Um, what, what was I saying? Oh yeah, no, no, no. Okay, so, so if we get that, will take away thousands of jobs from people. Mm. What about all those people who don't have that education? The only place for them would probably be the military. Yeah, and mm. you can't. What if and even know? there, people are yeah. starting. They're, they're robots that are it's starting to do yeah. jobs like that. Like COD players coming into World War. <laughs> I think where, like, I I would think that there's no like I used to think that there's no jobs for people like for for people that got their jobs taken away because of new tech but for me i think that it could draw the line or like it could it could drag with um new education which is just every single individual person has their own robot mm. and they have to manage mm. that specific robot so yeah. 
if so they learn how to manage that robot and their tasks, that is their... Ima- oh, Ima- yeah. But then there's evil people, though. Imagine if Hitler had a damn robot. <laughs> and then all of his soldiers also had a damn robot. Right, yeah. No, but well, that's almost that almost that already exists to an extent with things like online courses. Well, it's not obviously mm-hmm. as sort of innovative as an actual sort of robot teacher. It's it's in that direction because yeah. sort of things like Duolingo. It's you can le- you can learn a decent basis of a language without ever speaking to another person that knows it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can learn the entire language. That's yeah. just that's just. Or the, you can just do that through textbooks as well. That's not. That, well, okay, no, 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 no. That's true. I would disagree with that, Ryan, because you you'd learn you'd learn, you'd learn the vocab- textbook that language, but you'd never learn how to interact with a person. I in that I language. would disagree with that because mm-hmm. me and Connor, when we were first learning Spanish, I I just did Duolingo for like three months, for maybe four months, and then we went to Spain. I could have decent conversations with people yeah, he just, hold off his of, own. just off of Duolingo. So whilst For sure. Because, because you learn the vocabulary, you learn how, when to use stuff, you can understand other people saying stuff, you just need to know common sense to apply it. Ye, I think it depends on the language, to be honest. Like, I, you wouldn't be able to do it with Chinese. Um, mm. Because the, 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 the intricacy of Chinese is... Far and above, or the difference between mm. English and Chinese yeah. are especially, far and above. Yeah, especially like well, I think, because of the tone. I think the only so. the only reason I was really able to do it was because English is my first language exactly. and Spanish is so similar. So the grammar in 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 Spanish is is different. You got to do the like male female. Yeah, yeah, and you have to switch. Mm. The yeah, but in in you know in Chinese, it's. I mean, it's obscene. <laughs> the diff- so, so the. Um, I, I was doing them. I was at Chinese tutor once, and there's a there's yeah. a phrase. Uh, I think it's, ma shang or shang ma, and it's it's literally means up horse, like the direct translation is up horse. But we were talking about like building a robot or something like that, and I was like, what the hell does that mean? And she was like, oh, that means immediately. You just have to remember that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, like it's things in like the context. that. Context. It's in the yeah, sentence. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to. You, there are things Chinese. and and like certain phrases you just have to learn like. In in um, like you have to learn with a person to really understand that. Like if like I could probably if I increase my vocab, I still would you would you could be able to learn every single Chinese word and understand what that means, mm. but you would never be able to speak the language. But now we're getting into languages. languages. <laughs> um, no, I just wanted I just want to bring up another thing that I found that I think that's sort of an interesting advancement technology that we haven't really gone across yet. Which is, I guess, virtual reality. Oh, yeah. Yes. I, it's because, it's just, I guess, it's that idea that, obviously, the, this, I guess, the gen, like, the stereotypical stigma with the reason that older generations don't really, don't really like these sort of advancements in technology is that, it's that people are not really looking at the world around yeah. them and having, looking at sort of reality. Yeah. But then it's this idea that, that that's slowly, it's not, it's nowhere near where it may become, but it's that idea that it's replicating our reality and it feeling mm. like a reality. But then you you get to technology. the problem of what is reality? Because mm. so in is is it is real? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's not. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's just like the Truman Show. Well, you could, the you Truman could be, Show. You could be in virtual reality your whole life and you would never know. Your I would actually want yeah. reality. It's, it's, exactly. it's the cave. It's the cave thing. Or so the Matrix. Someone. I. I remember yeah, what it was, but it was there was a there was a cave um, theory, mm-hmm. basically saying that a lot of like there's a group of people that have been born in this cave and just been like er- their whole lives just looking at a wall, mm-hmm. and once they turn their heads, they see that there's an opening. And then once you go out, you see the whole reality of just yeah. that wall. But then when you don't turn your head, you just see the wall. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What did they eat whilst looking at the wall? Okay, that, okay. <laughs> yeah. that is just a theorem. The I, 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 I didn't know. How did they get that. food? So, <laughs> they probably mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of related to something that I was wanting to talk about. Was the um, so in the military, there's there's three sort of main. Um, they call them theaters, I think, theaters of war, and they 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 
the sea, the air, and the land are the three traditional main ones, which are obviously mm. the navy, the army, and the air force. Fire. And now the space. But now in there's America. now there's the oh, space. What? They have a so space branch. They have a Why? space branch exactly. So now they're they fighting aliens. No, so, they, so you can so you the can Martians. send you can send like nuclear missiles in an, in a satellite and then have that just floating around the earth until you need it. Do you know Jesus. what I mean? Things like that that will be. Okay. Oh you can militarize space easily. That's sick because that can also like that's also terrifying. kill like asteroids and stuff. Freaking Star Wars right there. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. They, they have can, one of those. They right. can protect the. Waiting for my lightsaber. Yeah, that, that's that. good. <laughs> but I think mm, if it's pointed to the Earth, it's yeah, less no. good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no. Especially no, if it's like me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so just you. Just you. Yeah. Not like the four million people that it could kill. Billion, just you. But me. No. What? But the, there's a there's a new fifth one that they're saying, which is the digital uh, theater of war. So I, I thought that would have come sooner than the space same. one. Mm. But but it's because it, that's what I'm saying. Because everyone in the military is so old, old. <laughs> they've only just realized how valuable it is now that yeah, young, I guess the younger accept, generations it's, are moving it's in. The, I, it's accepting it. I think was the it's it's well, been there for a think while. Think about it's it. Understanding it. it. You have all of. You can tap into all of the the uh, countries. So now all the um, oh damn, what are they called the surveys, the Servers. no 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 surveys of like a, of people, the census. Oh, census. So you can now censuses are now done online. Mm. In the UK, they've just moved to having an online census, right? Yeah. The census is like where you survey people, how many people are in a household, okay. what kind Total of jobs population. They yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just to see what kind of it's happening. Yeah. You know, um, and can you imagine if you could tap into that, you could edit it, you could, mm. do you know what I mean? So like that security Doxing. is just, you can <laughs> dox people, God. but you, do you know what I mean? Like the, 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 the amount of power that the digital um, area has now is mm. unfathomable. I think, I think we're only really going to get into that when our generation gets older. Absolutely. Because if you, if you mm. like look at say the Mark Zuckerberg Congress thing when he was brought to in front of the US Congress to get questioned about data stealing the entire panel is just old people no idea what they're on yeah about. and they're just like I have an iPhone can it see me no <laughs> that's it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like we probably know more about technology yeah. than the Congress yeah yeah yeah, yeah. exactly but they, yeah but then oh, I had something there I want to say can't remember what it was but yeah so if <laughs> yeah yeah so if we um data never expires right so yeah. online data never dies it, it gets rewritten but it, you can mm. find it easily yeah um but <laughs> so now imagine if someone's if someone's like older and they can you can then access all of that now everything's on the cloud as well mm. you just go into apple's icloud servers you find out you find that all their old pictures. Yeah, there's or a, everything they've ever done with the camera on the Yeah, phone, like or all the old search tweets. history. Mm, cuz old tweets exactly, old messages. Yeah, wait, what's it? They would all put us when, in jail. In like like 2 or 3 years ago I did I did like a DNA test for my birthday, but that's like and I you then get access to a, their website where mm. they can where you can obviously like find out more about yes, so sir. yeah and they have access to this database and I was able to oh. find like my great great grandparents like birth records where they lived like fl like boat what? tickets what? to boat like one of my great grandparents went to like Uganda what? and that's obviously where my no. that's then my grandmother was born it's just these things that like they're well over 200 years old like yeah. some of the things there like because now I, everything's been digitalized everything I found the oath <laughs> Of one of my one of the will of one of my relatives from seventeen twenty. What? <laughs> yeah. What? Just because it's been scanned and then. Yeah, and it's just it's all sitting there, and like all you need like a nine dollar subscription. That's and then, crazy. And the thing is, is that it's not it's not filtered. If you get what I mean, it's that yeah. I of I like it's not like it's gonna only show me specifically my relatives. I could have searched I could search up your like great grandparents' names and you we you'd find something on that. Get that shit up. That's Come on. insane. It's, like, it's mad. <laughs> but okay, so I freak out every time, right? Because I um I to I now have my octopus and my bank account on my phone mm. and through Apple Pay 
I can then top up my octopus through my phone where mm. they just connect with each mm. other and I have to put I do my um, touch ID mm. Mm. and then I put in my pin number and it freaks me out every single time because not only am I like other people can see me around but mm. now the fact that Apple Pay then connects with the bank and the bank then says yes that is his pin number mm. Mm. How easy it, is it for that to be? That's that's sick. As, as it's like it's, you know it's, what I mean? it's, it's the same thing with Tesla. It's the same thing. Exactly. It's Everything. Same, they can take all thing, my money. It's the, it's the same thing with the new update for iOS fourteen, which we can talk about more in depth. But like, <laughs> base, it, like for that, they have the te- like Tesla and BMW. You can access your car keys from your phone. Yeah, yeah that's so that's scary. Crazy. That's insane. Like that's like impossible it's for me so to scary. still think yeah. about. I just want to, I read something, I think the other day that I was just like, what? It was this, it was this, I think it was, it was this, I think it might've been a Nigerian dude. And he got arrested for selling an airport that didn't exist. (laughs) (laughs) When we hear it, we're like, that's like, that's 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 funny as hell. But like, like, (laughs) just the technological, like, proficiency and like genius that you can have to manipulate obviously like things on the internet to make Mm -hmm. it seem like this airport existed and obviously have so much value and sort of merit that this company would purchase it like it's their own fault though (laughs) i know no no (laughs) it it is but it's just but i think that's like one of the biggest problems that's coming through with this enormous advances in technology that we're having in the 21st century like, how do you regulate it? How do you control it? Because, like, if you... If it's so open, so free. Joe Lysett, a comedian, does a lot of, like... <laughs> he, oh, it's so funny. He'll, like, set up fake um, restaurants and stuff yeah. on Uber Eats and stuff, and they just let him <laughs> so in. So we made it... No, so we made a restaurant in a skip and on Uber Eats. Yeah, which so is, he, like, a big bin. Yeah, so basically, it's like he, he made a bin restaurant, and it was... Right. And he, like, had a microwave, and he microwaved some eggs... And like that was that was his like the whole point was that he, he, you can do anything on the internet, and he then set set it up, put everything into the um, into Uber Eats. Um, I think he even got a general restaurant license. No, he oh did because God. because to be on Uber Eats you can you have to do that, and then yeah, so yeah. he actually got like an official like mm. general, and he put it on the side of the skip. He also he also set up uh, Airbnb. Yeah. In the head offices of Airbnb. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, yeah. people showed up with an actual, like, receipt. Like, we have an Airbnb here. Where is it? <laughs> oh my God. It's insane. Like, like you can do anything online. I don't know how you, like, regulate it, though. It's like... This, I, I, there, there is a way, though. I think there is, but, but the thing... But it's because it's so... Sorry, it's so new. It's like, it's like setting mm. up a new country and being like, oh, how do you regulate it? Well, there's nothing there. I think the thing is with the internet is that... You see, we talk about this sort of regulation of it, but then I think that delves into censorship. Yeah. Mm. If you got, which is another huge topic and with then, the internet. I think I think what a lot of people, what, what a lot of online places try and do, is they use AIs to make an algorithm that will then censor specific things that they don't agree with. Yeah. So the YouTube, mm. YouTube, Twitter, YouTube is probably Facebook the biggest one. Yeah, and there's well, sorry, YouTube is because it m- messes with people's money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People make money off it's it, the and then they get censored from an algorithm, and then of course, instead of someone dealing with it on the other end because it's cheaper for YouTube, they then just get the algorithm to deal with it. And if it doesn't work, then the the people who are paying the the money mm. then get the power, and they can then not pay the creator of the thing, mm. or they'll get sorry no the the co- the company will then get money for it. Mm, and then there's, I guess there's that other thing of how with Google. I think I, I I think we might have been shown a video on this. It's the idea that when sort of you are when you search something, it automat it tries to it gives you the top results that its algorithm has determined that is most useful to you based on what you yeah. priorly search. Same with ads. Right. Is that they direct ads to you that are Based on your search history. Mm. Same with like on YouTube, it's trending. Is that why I've been getting dildos up? (laughs) 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 Like on the Instagram explore page, like I I look at two photos of a turtle and then there's like eight turtles now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Look at pictures of turtles. I don't know. We we talked about this on uh, in TOK class. 
there's this algorithm in YouTube, which we've obviously just talked about, right. but somebody who used to work at YouTube said that if you look at a video on anorexia, then, oh, sure. then the algorithm itself will suggest videos on losing weight. Yeah. Because it just mm. it's, it's learned that people who watch these types of videos will watch more of this video than yeah, any yeah. other type of video. And the, the, their goal is to get you to spend more it's time It's trying to retain your, energy, yeah. uh, your time. Exactly. Yeah, more time gross. equals more yeah, and, and equals more And money. it's the fact that it's an algorithm, there's no morality to it. It's not like, it's, exactly. it isn't thinking like, yo, Which this is... Which brings us back to the AI. Mm. Goddamn AI. Goddamn technology. This computer thing for itself. Okay. Um, well, I think we're uh, just about coming to time. Yep. Yep. So, Joe, do you want to do a recap? Uh, yeah, so we talked about our personal experiences. We okay. then briefly talked about... Kill them. Mm, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, we, then, we then briefly talked about um, what effect it has on the new generation, okay. what mm. we our experiences. We then talked about... Virtual uh, reality. Virtual reality. Oh no, we talked about AI and virtual how reality. that's all going to go to shit in the future. Yep. <laughs> then virtual reality, how it's dangerous, how it's not, uh, and then we just finished up with kind of oh, yeah. all of the, everything. Yeah. yeah. Which I think was I think it was a pretty. Oh, I, we didn't cover everything that I really wanted honest. to, but it was pretty good. I think I wrote too many discussion points. Oh, Maybe we could do a follow up. We could do a follow up. Ah, oh, Mr. Lamb come back the on. Sequel. Mr. Lamb will come back on. The sequel. Technology yeah. two. Technology <laughs> two will just always come back to AI yeah. and how it's going to kill us all in the future. Um, so thank you for watching, guys, or for listening. Uh, thank you very much to Bob Lamb for coming on the podcast. Thank, thank you, you sure. Mr. Bob. Sure. We would love to have you again, and we're gonna try and hope to get more guests on, so that it's not mm. just four annoying lamos talking every single time <laughs> but we'll try and keep it interesting Indeed. thank you thank you for watching thank you Sweet very you. much have a nice life <laughs> please like and subscribe and comment what you would like us to do next